a couple of days ago I posted a video up here on YouTube to see whether anyone knew what this instrument was, or is rather. Uh, I had 10 points on offer, and if you guessed tenor core, you get all 10 points. If you guessed mellophone, you get about 5, maybe 5.5. Five um, so this instrument, I believe, is a tenor core. Um, the only difference between a tenor core and a mellophone is the size of the bell. The mellophone generally has a larger bell flare than what this instrument does. Uh, they're both pitched in F. Uh, there have been many different uh, configurations of these instruments that have additional tuning slides, in some cases have additional valves, and so forth. Now, uh, talking about a mellophone, um, the one that most people will be familiar with nowadays is a mellophone which has a bell that goes out straight, and that's a marching mellophone. Um, this is a this is design, this layout is what a mellophone is traditionally, um, but it has been adapted for use in uh, concert bands and marching bands and so forth. Uh, these instruments are largely obsolete nowadays. If you want a horn in F, the standard substitute for it is an orchestral French horn or uh, a typical modern mellophone. Um, if you're wanting a horn in E flat, the modern substitute for that is a British tenor horn. Or if you're in America, you call the same instrument an alto horn. Um, and the reason why there are so many different types of instruments is that back in the early to mid to late 1800s, before brass instruments became really mass produced at the same scale as they are being produced today, um, there were lots of different makers who were arguing with each other about patents and designs and so forth. So you had lots of different instrument manufacturers out there uh, who sought to have their own flavour on what an alto brass instrument should look like. So we have contraptions like this. We have contraptions that are even more obscure than this, such as the Antonio phone. Um, and there are just really dozens and dozens and dozens of different types of E-flat F brass instruments available to you. Some look like a, a trumpet. There's one called a frumpet. Uh, some look like horns that have this configuration. Some of them look like uh, our modern tenor horns. Some of them look like uh, marching mellophones and so forth. And they all do slightly different things. Um, but this instrument itself is a tenor core. Uh, core is French for horn. So effectively this is basically a tenor horn. Um, it, it, it doesn't have any more of a fancy name than that. Uh, it can be called a mellophone, and, and I don't think anyone's going to get offended if you uh, get them too mixed up. But uh, to those people who guessed mellophone, you're only going to get five points. So I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> ¶¶